Hi friends, welcome to Mega Technical Hub. In today's session, we are going to discuss about the important topic that is misalignment and how to diagnose the misalignment by using spectrum analysis and by using time waveform. Because in in industry, majority of the machine failures are due to misalignment. This misalignment will add the additional load in the form of stresses and also put additional forces to the bearings. This misalignment damages the seals, bearings, couplings, also it causes the shaft to bend. So vibration analysis is the important tool to diagnose the misalignment condition in any equipment. That we will study in detail in the next slides. Before going for the spectrum and time waveform, first we will study what is misalignment. What is the effect and what is the reason for the misalignment? For any shaft, there is an axis. It is called as rotational axis. And these shafts are rotates about this rotational axis. When these rotational axis are not collinear, then it is called as misaligned condition. For example, in this case, this is a motor. This is a pump. This is the axis of the motor and this is the axis of the pump. If these two axes are not collinear, then we call it as a machines are in missile and condition. But in this case, these two axes between the two shafts they are collinear then it is a perfect aligned condition so in general we can define the shaft alignment as is as the positioning of the rotational centers of two shafts such that they are collinear when the machines are under normal operating conditions what is the reasons of misalignment there are many reasons if the assembly is not proper in motor or in pumps then it results in misalignment. In case of shaft foot in the motor base or any pump base or any fan base, it also results in misalignment. During operation, there is wear and tear of the bearings because of maybe lubrication issue. This wear and tear results in the misalignment of the shafts. If you use more than three shims during alignment at the bottom of the base, then it also results in the misalignment. In case of bent shaft also results in misalignment. What is thermal growth? When pumps and motor they are operating under different op temperature. Because of this delta T, the growth term, uh, temperature growth expansion will be different in both the motor and pump. Because of uh, difference in delta T, it results in misalignment. Also, in case of foundation weak, that also results in misalignment. Then what is the effect of misalignment? If the machine is having misalignment, then it increases the vibration of the machine. Because of this vibration, there will be a bearing damage. Also, if the machine's shafts are at inclined condition, then it results in seal wear and also results in coupling damage. These are some of the defects because of this misalignment. In this figure, already explained in the first slide, this A and B, both the couplings, they are aligned, they are collinear. If these axes are not collinear, then it call it as a misaligned condition. So there are mainly three types of misalignment condition exists in any equipment. That is parallel misalignment, angular misalignment and combined misalignment. First is what is parallel misalignment? When the axis of the shafts, they are parallel to each other and they are not intersecting. But there is an offset in between the two axes. It is called as offset misalignment. If the two axes are not parallel but they are intersecting, then it is called as angular misalignment. 
but in general for any equipment there will be a combination of this offset and angular missile alignment so this is called as combination missile alignment we generally see this combination of missile alignment in any equipment rotating component so to have the precise alignment the industry generally use the laser tool for the alignment purpose we should have the there should be some acceptable limits for any alignment condition this acceptable limit of the alignment readings they are mainly depend on the rpm of the machine if you rpm of the machine increases then you should have precise alignment between the drive one and drive component for example if you consider here first one is offset acceptable limit second is for the angular acceptable limit for the offset missile alignment if you consider 0 to 1000 rpm then 0.07 is considered as the excellent when the machines are in excellent alignment condition if it is 0.13 then you can accept that one okay 0.07 is very excellent if you achieve 0.13 then it is acceptable if you there is increase in rpm suppose there is machine is having 4000 to 5000 range in rpm then your machine should have 0.01 offset between the two axis it is excellent and acceptable is 0.0 3 similarly in case of angular missile alignment also for the 0 to 1000 rpm 0.036 is the excellent and 0.1 is the acceptable limit in case of 4000 to 5000 0.02 is the excellent reading and 0.05 is the acceptable read sorry 0.02 is the excellent and 0.05 is the acceptable limit. this is the chart for the different acceptable limit for the alignment for any rotating equipment as it differs based on the rpm let's come to the main topic the how to diagnose the misalignment in case of in vibration analysis first you consider parallel misalignment in case of parallel misalignment the for each rotation it gives two pulse or two vibration peaks so in spectrum you are getting this is a spectrum frequency is the x axis amplitude is the y axis if the machine is having only parallel misalignment there is no angular misalignment only parallel then you will get two into rpm 2 into rpm means suppose your equipment is running at 25 hertz that is 1500 rpm then you are getting the peak at 50 hertz that is 2 into rpm in case of parallel misalignment but in case of angular misalignment for each rotation of the shaft it produces one peak that means each revolution there is one vibration pulse then in the spectrum you are getting 1 into rpm that is 1x in case of parallel misalignment sorry in case of angular misalignment but your equipment is always the co combination of both the parallel and angular misalignment that is you call it as a combined misalignment there will not be a single that is parallel either parallel or either angular there will be always the combination of the both then you will get as a combined misalignment is 1x and 2x means suppose your equipment is running at 25 hertz you are getting 25 hertz peak 
and also 50 hertz peak embedded here frequency so in case of i will repeat again in case of parallel misalignment you are getting 2 into rpm in the spectrum and in case of angular misalignment you are getting 1 into rpm in the spectrum but always machine is having both the misalignment condition that is parallel and angular generally you are getting these type of the peaks in the spectrum there will be 1x with the smaller amplitude and 2x with the larger amplitude such type of spectrum you are getting then it is called as misalignment spectrum but in some case there depending on the coupling there is severe misalignment will be there at some cases then you are getting 3x also means 1x here 2x sometimes there may be a 3x also in case of severe misalignment next is how to diagnose in time a form i will explain in the earlier slide always it is a combination of both parallel and angular misalignment so generally you are getting one peak or two peak in each revolutions so in the time a form here time is in x axis y axis is the amplitude for each revolution you are getting two peaks this is one peak this is second peak like the spectrum which generally is m shape or sometimes it may be a w shape also so this type of spectrum if you are getting this time a form you are getting then it is in misalignment stage means each revolution you are getting two peaks for, for this revolution again two peaks like that every revolution there will be a two peaks then it is called as a machine is in misalignment condition then how to diagnose by using phase here the, you are using two channel analyzer one is one accelerometer is you have fixed at the driver it is maybe motor and one more sensor accelerometer you are fixing at the driven it may be pump and you are measuring across the coupling you need to measure across the coupling if the phase difference between the this motor and pump across the coupling in axial direction is 180 degree in the axial direction then it is you can confirm that is a misalignment condition similarly if 180 degree phase shift in the radial direction means you are putting the sensor one sensor here one more sensor here in the radial direction in the vertical direction in both motor and pump then also if you get 180 degree out of phase in the radial direction then you can call it then may be a parallel misalignment if it is angular misalignment you are getting in axial direction 180 degree phase shift in the in case of parallel misalignment you are getting 180 degree in the vertical direction in general you are getting 180 degree plus or minus generally it should be 30 degree for across the coupling in case of misalignment condition so if you getting 1x and 2x in the spectrum and you are getting in uh, time a form there are two signals in each revolution and that phase across the coupling it is 180 degree plus or minus 30 degree then you can confirm there is a machine is in misaligned condition in general the spectrum looks like this this is 1x this is 2x sometimes there is severe misalignment then is a 3x 
such type of spectrum you are getting in case of misalignment condition then how to differentiate from the unbalance then that i will discuss in the uh, next session how to differentiate between the unbalance and the misalignment if the sim symptoms are same in the spectrum okay. i hope you understand the concept of misalignment in the next next sessions i will go with the looseness defect also how to differentiate between the unbalance and the misalignment thank you